Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make spin art. I'm going to show you in several different ways, ranging from super easy to a little more complex, but either way, you should be able to find something that you can do and that you like. The credit for today's project goes out to Trent. He's the one who inspired me to do this idea. So let's get to it. So for the easiest method, we're going to simply just take a piece of canvas and stick a bunch of different color paints on here. There's lots of different ways you can do this. You can pile a whole bunch in the center, you can sprinkle it around. Right here I'm using a water paint, but you could use whatever you like. So after spinning it once, I thought it was kind of cool, but I wanted to take and get a little more of an effect, so I just spun it again until I was happy with the result. I ended up adding more color here. I tend to like them without too much color, but here's the result of the first one. So for the second one, we're going to take and we're going to drill a hole in the center of a piece of wood and then on each ends. The ends do need to line up with whatever canvas you're going to be using. And in a minute, I'll show you a way without canvas. So now we just got to stick a bolt through here. I used a wing nut, but you could use a regular nut on the other side. And after tightening this up, we're going to take and we're going to drill a screw into each end, securing it to our canvas. And then we're going to take and put it in our drill. Now the first way that I do this, I don't recommend doing it this way because you are going to get paint on you. I was hoping for a slow-mo shot, but it didn't work out. Now as you can see it fell out and it ended up hitting the grass, but it actually made a really cool effect so I decided to keep it. So here's a method if you don't want to pay for canvas, just stick some hot glue on there, put it on this foam board from the dollar store, and do the same process. This time though I'll show you the right way to do it. Now here's a fancy way, I figured I had this table I made that spins, why not use it for some spin art? And this worked amazingly well but I wouldn't recommend making one of these tables just for this project. Spin art in multiple different ways. Well, there you have it. I think my favorite was, you know, just spinning it and letting it drop on the ground. I think it was very simple and I don't think it needed to be overly complicated, but uh, let me know in the comments below what you liked. Till next time.